Hare Krishna. Welcome back to video for the day. This is Sankar Shandas Adhikari speaking to you from Iskhan, Melbourne, Australia. Here we are during the most auspicious time of the day before the sunrise, Brahma Mahurta. The devotees are here in the temple room chanting Hare Krishna Japa. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. This is the Yuga Dharma. This is our duty in this age of Kali. This is our means of becoming liberated from the cycle of birth and death. By every day chanting around the beads at least 16 times, one has a gradual purification of the heart, a gradual reawakening of one's original natural consciousness. You see, this material nature we're in right now is a very artificial atmosphere, composing all kinds of illusions. Our consciousness becomes pervaded with so many illusory conceptions by the association of the material nature. But chanting Hare Krishna purifies one of this contaminating influence and brings one back to his original natural state of consciousness. So take advantage of these holy names of Krishna. If you're not already doing it, get some Japa Mala beads, get up early every morning, chant as many rounds as possible. When you get to the point of 16 rounds every day and following a few principles like no illicit sex, no meat eating, no intoxication, no gambling, then you're qualified to be initiated by the bona fide spiritual master to be trained how to go back to home, back to God in this very lifetime. So take full advantage of this process. Don't throw your life away from material sense gratification. Shan and be happy. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hare Krishna. Thank mm-hmm. you.